So the question asks, uh, what are the chances of pregnancy after something called an endometrial ablation? Now, an endometrial ablation is typically done by numerous methods, but uh, the overall um, intent of this procedure is to burn the lining of the uterus to decrease the amount of bleeding a woman has every month. And that's typically done for something called heavy menstrual bleeding or uh, menorrhagia. Now, uh, the American College of OBGYN and the American Society of Reproductive Medicine uh, do not recommend that women get pregnant after an endometrial ablation. And so one of the prerequisites or uh, after or to have this procedure is a reliable form of birth control in the form of either a male vasectomy or a female sterilization or a willingness to use birth control after the procedure to prevent pregnancy. Now, sometimes pregnancies do occur after endometrial ablation. The issue is they are very, very high risk. Uh, there's a very high risk of miscarriage. There's a very high risk of preterm labor and delivery and overall increased risk of significant pregnancy complications. And so we don't recommend you get pregnant after an endometrial ablation, but it's not impossible to get pregnant after an endometrial ablation.